copying the behaviour of others in order to learn a new and more efficient way of doing things is a very common practice, especially among social mammals like porpoises, apes and monkeys. This can be anything from chimpanzees fishing for termites with a stick, or Japanese macaques washing the sand off sweet potatoes, to killer whales toppling ice floes to knock seals into the water. Generally, all of this behaviour and many other examples are where the elders or leaders of a particular group found a new or novel way of exploiting the local resources. The adolescents can observe and copy the leader's actions. The more dominant the creature that's setting the example, the more likely the new technique is to be adopted. And the younger the observer, the more readily they attempt and accept the new way of doing things. However, this process does go a little further than this, and also leads us possibly to some interesting conclusions. There are some obvious benefits to an animal's chances of survival if it can learn a new and more efficient way of finding food. However, the copying behaviour goes further just for any perceivable gain. Dogs have been observed looking at their owners performing yoga and have copied their movements, sometimes putting their limbs into what would otherwise be a very unnatural position. In addition to this, one group of chim chimpanzees in Zambia, led by an individual called Julie, put a single strand of grass in one ear. This action was then copied by the majority of the members of the group, despite the grass seemed to have no adaptive benefit or anything else being communicated by the presence or even the absence of grass in the ear. These are the possibility that grass in the ear resembles nothing more than just a fashion statement, a behavioural quirk that Julie thought was interesting, but which, because of her position in chimp society, some of the others thought that they should copy. And did the copiers think that by following her lead, they might gain social respect and position by copying Julie? In addition, why did Julie continue with the adornment? Was it because she liked having grass in her ear? Or was it because others were now copying her that to stop could cause confusion among the group and even for her to lose the respect of her followers? For the answer, we probably have to look at the most intelligent social mammal on the planet, which of course has learnt a great many different practical techniques from their elders in society. However, also has a great many times copied various fashions and activities which serve no obvious practical function, yet once adopted by the social leader has been copied by a great many others. I am of course referring to human beings who seem readily to copy behaviour of those who they consider to be their social leaders. This bandwagon effect where once a leader and a few close followers adopt a new fashion or trend has increasing pressure the rest of the group to follow the new direction. And those who don't conform are regarded as odd and strange in some way and then could lead them to being socially isolated. Whilst this fairly relatively harmless activity when it comes to things like fashion and music, it does have a deeper social consequence when it comes to things like politics, economics and religion. The bandwagon effect may be described as being wanting to be on the winning side of any political movement and could be a fundamental pillar behind things like revolutions and the rise of extreme political movements like the rise of fascism in the 1930s. It certainly has been noticed by a great many political campaigners. Some have talked a great deal about things like momentum and joining an unstoppable movement. It certainly feels sometimes difficult to risk, resist the appeal of such groups, but are they nothing more than just chimps with grass in their ears?